Ian led me down a small alley off Wong Yu Street. Walking down this path, it's surprising how much more is offered than just bun sale or sizzling cake. This used to be a really quiet neighborhood. Yeah. But because of the restaurant that we are going to, it's yeah. so famous yeah. that it attracted a lot of tourists. You know, they sell a lot of dried meats here, but I think my favorite is dried chicken. It's little strips of chicken with the uh, lemongrass and some chili. I've even tried to make cake with this before. It was not successful. <laughs> we are now heading to a Bonseo restaurant. Wow, this is very hot. The cake is cooked twice to make it more crispy, but it still remains soft inside. The charcoal fire is an important ingredient, adding a flavorful, slightly burnt singe to the dish. Very hot. I can see these women are working very hard. This is a hard job. This is not a job that I think I would want, so I admire them for doing this. We're now stepping into the capital of Bonseo in Ghana. I can't wait. Take a big bite. Um, um. This dish has so many different flavors. Crispy pancake, yeah, grilled pork, all in one roll. You know, you have the sauce, which is like a mixture of pork, and peanut butter. And that sound, maybe that sounds strange, <laughs> but it's actually really delicious. It's together with the <laughs> Danang is home to quite a long coastline, about 74 kilometers in length, with many islands and a remarkable peninsula. Local fishermen set off each night on the hunt to find the best possible catch. Thanks to these fishermen, a variety of seafood is available in local restaurants. Where I grew up it was not near the ocean, so we never had fresh, live seafood like this. So I'm not very familiar with seafood. Oh my God, those are huge. This might be the first time I've been hands-on with living seafood. It's super interesting, but also a bit scary. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. You can do it. Actually doing this makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Ah, I feel bad doing it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let's cook it. Oh, okay, can we cook this now? It only takes about 10 minutes to cook, according to the restaurant's owner. I'm interested to see what the dishes will be like after such a short amount of time. Wow, these look amazing. Oh, I'm having a very good time drinking the beer of Denai. Yo! So this is the seafood that you picked earlier. It's mantis shrimp. Okay. Uh, they just fry in elongated cockle. Okay. So you agree with on oil and spring onion and, and peanuts. peanuts. Yeah. yeah. Let me start with just a little bit of this. Let's see. Mm. Ooh, a little bit spicy, but it's really fresh. This is scary. That's, oh my God. That's dangerous. Ow, it's sharp. This is a weapon. When you're eating this thing with these massive, you know, these massive claws and, um, you're picking it out of the out of the pool and it's alive. Um, I mean, it's an experience that you can't really find anywhere else. Wow. Mm. I think it's so great how much variety Danang has when it comes to all the different local foods here. But I always have room for a little bit of dessert. Yeah, everyone has room for dessert. So I think we should go check out um, maybe something for dessert. Locals and tourists in Danang seem to know Bakmian Market as a great place to get a good snack. 
home to a large variety of local food. This and many other markets like it in Nanam are a great place to find tasty treats, street food, fruit smoothies, and amazing noodles at a great price. We're here at the market and there are a lot of different dessert choices. Ian, what do you suggest for having dessert today? Whenever I go to this particular market, mm. I always have to have avocado ice cream. Well, I'm ex I love ice cream and I love avocado. So that sounds like a good mix. Let's have some. Nearly 30 years after opening, the shop sells hundreds of avocado ice cream glasses every day, or even up to a thousand servings during holidays. Homemade avocado smoothie, add some homemade ice cream, some dried coconut chips. All that makes a perfect glass of avocado ice cream. This is a really great way to end the day. Avocado, ice cream, a little bit of durian, uh, some coconut, but it's super delicious. I never knew about this. I've lived here for a long time and I had no idea that this was a thing and I'm definitely going to come back here again. I guess that this is your favorite of the day. <laughs> I like ice cream a lot, yeah. so this might be one of my I can, favorites. I can tell from your face. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Yeah, so what we had are really uh, traditional specialties of Da Nang's, what we eat every day. But uh, tonight I'm going to specially invite you to my restaurant yeah. where we serve modern Vietnamese food with some modern takes and modern techniques. So it's a nice experience to have. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds awesome. I'm, I've always wanted to go to her restaurant, uh, but I think I'm a little bit underdressed. So I think I'm going to have to change and then we'll, uh, we'll go to her restaurant. Now we're here at Nen restaurant. Uh, I'm so excited. Yuen is inside uh, making dinner um, and it's gonna be a multi-course meal. Um, I've never been here before uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to see what she's gonna make. After a decade of culinary adventures ranging from food blogging, operating a food tour, Vlogging. Hi everyone, if you're thinking about visiting Da Nang, this is the perfect video for you, Da Nang's top 10 dishes. My criteria in selecting the dishes is to include Da Nang specialties, the very basic dishes that you must know about Da Nang cuisine.